Hi guys, it's Simlissy here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building a restaurant, which I thought would be so much fun to do, and I am very excited to share this build with you, so I hope you guys do like it. I was very much inspired off of a picture I saw on Pinterest. I was kind of just thumbing through, looking at different things, and not really planning on building, just kind of browsing, because I like to look at different houses and interiors. It's just fun for me. Um, but anyways, I saw this house and I was like, oh, I have to build it. It looks so cute. So I will try to remember to link it in the description. Obviously that was a house and I turned it into a restaurant just because I thought it would look so cute. And I'm building it on this lot here in Brindleton Bay, which is the beach lot that we got. And originally it comes with a starter house on it. So I did bulldoze it and then build this. And I think I'm going to leave the name the same. It's called... I think it's Bedlington Boathouse. I thought that was kind of a good name for a restaurant, so I'm gonna leave the name the same. If you download this, you can, of course, change the name if you come up with something better, but I kind of liked it. I thought it sounded really cute, so we're gonna leave it at that. But um, anyways, so yeah, the picture was this really pretty Dutch colonial style build with, I think it had white siding. I gave it blue with lots of white trim and accent colors. And then it had a red roof, which I thought was really cute. And I don't know, sometimes you just see stuff like that and you're like, I can create that in The Sims and it'll look perfect. And so that was kind of my idea when I saw that build. So some, maybe some of you guys can relate. And I was kind of struggling a little bit while building this. I don't know, my game was being a little bit glitchy. So you may notice that my mouse kind of goes crazy at certain points. Um, I didn't like overly cut this video, so a lot of it's left in. So I apologize if it does bother some of you guys, but I was just in such a groove and knew exactly what I wanted to build that I couldn't let myself exit out of the game and reload it. So um, yeah, that's just how that is and we just have to live with it. Um, but anyways, so it is a restaurant. It has um, a cafe on the interior upstairs, so you can hire a barista and they will show up. They don't automatically show up like if you were to have a bar. So if you prefer to have like a regular bar that serves uh, the Sims juices and cocktails and whatnot, um, you can do that. You can replace it. I just kind of thought a barista bar would be a little bit more appropriate because I kind of imagined this to be like a breakfast brunch place. I did put a lot of breakfast items on the menu. I did include like lunches and dinner items as well. So it wasn't like breakfast specific. Like you could only get, go here and have like French toast and an omelet. There's tons of different stuff and lots of different like seafood options. And I don't know, I kind of went all out, created like this own little custom menu. And I dressed the waiters and waitresses, of course, and the chefs and the hostess. So I had a lot of fun with it. You'll see some of that in the screenshots. I think it just turned out really cute. I've been very inspired lately to do community lots. Um, I don't know why that is. I kind of go in spurts with most, I mean, I go in longer spurts with family homes just because I feel like they're so cute to do the different little bedrooms and kind of imagine the families that live there. But every once in a while, I'm like, I need to do community lots. And that's how I've been feeling recently. And I did just share a renovation of uh, what is that? The Blue Velvet Nightclub, and I turned it into the Blue Velvet Lounge. And that was a lot of fun to do. And I feel like community lots might be a lot better to come up with if you just renovate them. Because it was a lot easier to just redecorate it and kind of change a few things rather than to come up with a whole brand new idea. So it's a little bit cheaty in that sense, but it was a lot of fun to do. And I definitely want to renovate more lots. And a lot of you guys seem to love that renovation and wanted to see more. So I really appreciate the feedback. And I just wanted to say thank you because it was really encouraging and so much fun to share it with you guys and read your guys' comments. You, you seem to have as much fun with that build as I did. And so it's just really awesome. So much fun. And so I have started working on the gym that's right next door to that lot. And it's completed. So I just need to edit the footage and take screenshots and do the voiceover so I can share that one with you guys. So there'll be a lot of community lots coming up. And I want to renovate some houses as well. So if you guys have any suggestions, I've started doing one. I'm just kind of struggling with the interior. I literally spent like maybe an hour today trying to decorate the interior and it was so just meh. I was like this is so bland. I don't like it. So we're gonna have to revisit that one but it's one of the uh, starter houses in downtown Windenburg. So like the old town, like not the downtown where it's all modern but like the old town. Um, one of those starter houses. Actually there's no houses in the modern area is there. 
I wonder if I should include houses in that area sometime. I don't know. Um, but anyways, so it's not going to end up being a starter house in the end because what I think I'm going to do is move uh, the oldest Fry's daughter into that house. Uh, Siobhan, I think is how, oh no, Siobhan. I always say her name wrong. I apologize if, <laughs> if I sound ridiculous, but I always mess up her name. But, um, yeah, I'm going to move her into that house because I'm kind of working on a project. A lot of you guys seem to have guessed it. I have actually been thinking about doing this for probably a year and I would like to create my own save file. I have no idea how long this is going to take. I know it's a giant project. A few people have done it already. I had planned on doing it about a year ago, I think, and I did announce it on my channel, but um, I didn't really have like a concrete idea or a plan. But now I have a little bit more of a plan, so hopefully that will be coming sooner than later, and if you guys have any suggestions for it. But I wanna do a lot of renovations just so it kinda comes along quicker, and I think it'd just be a lot of fun because I wanna keep some of the original Sims in the game. I've already actually given all of the Sims in-game makeovers with just clothing items we have in game so I did that off camera just for a bit of fun and in that safe file I would like her to live in a house in the downtown area because she's a young adult and I kind of think she should be on her own so I kind of want to change a few things like that and make even though it's the same sims make it my own and then I'll of course add new townies as well and then some of my builds some renovations and kind of just do this whole mixture of something that I think would be a lot of fun to play in so yeah it's definitely what I'm working on at the moment, and I hope, yeah, I hope you guys will like it. Hopefully you guys are excited. Um, I, it's so fun how, how many people of you guys were guessing when I did the renovation, and like even before then, I've had a few people comment, been like, oh, is there a save file coming? And so, yeah, it's pretty cool that you guys were kind of um, in tuned with what I was thinking in a way. Um, yeah. A lot of fun, very excited about it, and I definitely want this lot to be included in that, so there won't be a starter house on this lot. I will include probably a starter house somewhere else in Brindleton Bay, maybe in one of the back uh, sort of lots behind the road that's so close to the beach, so maybe I'll do that. Um, but yeah, we will see it all come along. But as you can see, the floor plan has pretty much all came together. I think this is essentially how it looks. I do make a few changes upstairs where I add the barista bar just to kind of make it work a little bit better. I think, um, yeah, I think it all looks nice in the end. I did sort of struggle with the upstairs a little bit. I wasn't sure what to do with that area. Um, this kind of t-shaped room um, you may notice it but I end up adding just dining tables up there I wasn't sure if I should make it like a private dining area or kind of like a lounge hangout room so you could probably do other things with it if you don't want it to be a dining area but um, yeah, that's what I end up going with in the end and I think it does look really nice but here I am pulling out the barista bar and I did have to change up the back here a little bit because I wanted to have some counters in the back and I didn't want the windows to sort of be in the wrong places and I also wanted the sims to have enough room to work back there of course and at one point I do place a sink on the counter and I had started to play test the build to make sure the coffee bar would actually work and I could hire a sim to work there but random sims visiting the restaurant were going there and getting like glasses of water and it was so annoying I was like what are they doing so I end up deleting the sink you'll notice at the end of the build we remove the sink and I just add a shelf behind there and I take some of the debug coffee bags and put it back there and I was going to use some of the coffee cups but they were disappearing and it kept saying there was an error so I didn't end up getting any but you could of course probably pull those from the debug menu but thinking about it now the sims might try to clean them up and so it would kind of just ruin your decorations anyways so some of those debug items the sims will just clean up anyways so kind of no point to it um, but at this point I thought we should have a sign somewhere so I end up pulling out the coffee sign here in just a second I wanted to use this sign that came with cats and dogs and use a mixture between the coffee cup that came with this and one of the more oceany sort of signage but I couldn't blend them together correctly so I just go with the coffee one and I think it works I I really do like the way it turns out but right now I am decorating the bathrooms so you'll probably notice this build is very symmetrical which kind of aided in how quickly it came together because this build didn't take me that long like maybe a couple hours which for me is like flying through a build like I can easily take hours and hours and hours on anything <laughs> that I built but this came together pretty quickly and a lot of it has to do with 
doing the same decorations throughout but I mean it's a restaurant so I kind of feel like they would have pretty pretty much the same decorations everywhere so that's what I did it's very symmetrical it's very matchy matchy and pretty much is a mirror image of itself which is a bit weird I don't think I've ever done a build like that but I think it works for this one and I think it kind of adds to the cutesy vibe and I just do a little bit of decorations in here the last restaurant that I did which was my what was that build called salty's Crab Shack? I think Salty's Crab Shack? Something like that. Um, it was also a Brindleton Bay restaurant. So now I have two restaurants in Brindleton Bay. I could probably ease up on them for a while. Um, but that one, the kitchen was a little bit overcrowded. So I, I was just trying to do something a little bit different and try to do a less is more type of thing. I still wanted it to look like it had um, kind of... I wanted to have enough decorations to where it looks like Sims have been busy working and have items places. I kind of, I do like that clutter effect, but I didn't want it to be so busy to where it looked like the Sims were going to have trouble using it. And then I just pulled out some of the, what do you call those? The waitress carts, the carts that they clean the dishes in, pulled some of those out. And yeah, sort of this area isn't really part of the dining area. I do have it too private dining areas on each wing and they're with like larger tables they have six seats of them so like a larger party can eat there and other than that all of the dining is upstairs on the balconies and outside on like the patio area which is probably where I'd want to eat actually I don't know maybe the back the back patio off of the the um, coffee area because then you get a view of the ocean and how nice would that be that would be like oh dream to sit and have like a cup of coffee and look out in the ocean that just sounds magical like that a lot um but anyways so this is going to be where the hostess is so you come in the doors and the hostess will greet you and i think this room turned out really nice i end up using some chairs that came from cats and dogs also so actually something i should probably mention i used i didn't limit myself to packs but definitely the main pack if you have cats and dogs this restaurant will pretty much look exactly the same of course you have to have dine out for it to run as a restaurant but those I really like all the wallpapers are from cats and dogs uh, the curtains these like beautiful like grandma curtains that I love they came from cats and dogs and a lot of the decorations but I also used a lot of dine out items because of course it's a restaurant and what else maybe some laundry day a few items from there but if you have cats and dogs and dine out you should be good but um, yeah the hostess area just came together I really like the way that looks I think it is super cute and right now I'm just pulling out the umbrella tables and later on in the build I do change the color of them to be a darker navy because I felt like the white was just a little bit too it just blended in too much with the build and didn't stand out in my opinion so I kind of just thought about it a little bit later and then went back and changed it so I think that's an improvement you can of course change it back if you prefer the lighter blues because it's almost like a gray blue this well I'm talking about the stripes on the top of the umbrellas by the way I changed them for a navy color later on so you'll see that change in the end you may have noticed in the thumbnail I'm not sure if you can see those or not in the thumbnail but I think it's an improvement I think it looks a lot better and right now I'm just sort of finding decorations and I love sizing down that Oh man, I always forget helm, right? I always forget the name of the steering wheel on a boat, but I'm pretty sure it's called a helm. I love signing or sizing that one down. That's like the little statue and place it on top of tables. I think it's so cute. Um, but here I am just decorating the private dining areas and the waiters were walking around these tables. So you shouldn't have any problems with these rooms being too cramped. Um, Sims should be able to sit at all six of the chairs. But I mean, if there is any problems, you could just make the tables a little bit smaller or add two tinier tables and just sort of, I'm sure you guys can make it work if it doesn't, but I didn't have any issues with it. And right now I am just pulling out some other tables. So I thought about doing larger dining tables in here as well, but I just ended up going with some smaller ones. And I think this room is nice. I think it's a little bit dark. So that's kind of the only reason I was a little bit hesitant of what to do with it, but I think it does work and I think it is cute and I especially really like that kind of um, that piece of the room that jets off over the patio area, if you know what I'm talking about, that has the open windows that came with cats and dogs. I haven't really used those items very much because they don't, they're not actual windows, they're like open archways. Um, which is a little bit weird, especially if there's probably bad weather. I don't know exactly how that works in the game because I think they function as real windows. So I don't. I think you're protected from the weather in the game, but I haven't used those yet. And so I thought they worked perfectly there. So I wouldn't mind sitting at that table. I think that would be really nice. Um, 
kind of a weird thing to talk about but um anyways so here I am adding some tables to the decks or whatever you call these um I think they look so cute and like I said I could only imagine just sitting there having a cup of coffee and looking out to the ocean I think that just sounds so magical and so here I just deleted that sink because like I said since we're just going there and getting glasses of water and I didn't want anybody to be behind the counter other than this the barista of course and then those are debug bags of coffee and then so you may notice I'm trying to pull out cups of coffee and yeah they just keep telling me there was a debug error or something I think is what it said so a bit weird um some things worked some things didn't so I decided to leave it empty kind of I think it looks I think it looks nice this way though I think it's really cute and just adding little bits of clutter here and there some coffee cups and little bits of decorations nothing nothing really over the top I don't think really really cute and then I just add I think some pictures on the walls and just try to keep this area nice and open so the sims can get through really easily and get to the rest of the restaurant and then here I am changing the colors so here's what I'm talking about change it to the navy color instead of the white just to make them stand out and pop a little bit more I thought that looked really nice and adding a few more potted plants and some table decorations just getting a menu on every table and I think that's about it so I hope you guys enjoyed this restaurant if you guys want to see more community lots I do have more coming or if you have any suggestions I am definitely up for it so please let me know but anyways I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshots and thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon bye